Grandma is sick. A little story by Aunt Nadi. Nellie lived with her grandmother. Grandma helps Nellie with her schoolwork. Grandma loves making delicious meals for Nellie. Nellie loves spending time with Grandma when she is free. Grandma loves Nellie very much because she is an obedient child. One day, Grandma fell severely sick. Nellie was nervous and scared. Not knowing what to do, she ran here and there. Grandma couldn't even speak or open her eyes as she was in pain. Nellie was hungry, but she soon realized Grandma cannot prepare meals as she was sick. Nellie helps Grandma for daily cooking, but she has never cooked alone. How can she prepare some food for herself and Grandma? She wondered. She tried to remember the method of making a soup step by step. How to add vegetables, lentils and other essentials. She thought to give it a try and prepare a delicious and nutritious soup for her grandma. Holding the small knife in hand, Nellie started thinking again and soon her eyes filled with tears as she felt helpless. She took a handful of lentils and put them into the water to soak took some water and washed the vegetables. But she was not sure how to peel and cut these different types of vegetables. Some folks in the corner of the kitchen were noticing Nellie's genuine and thoughtful efforts. The kitchen friends such as knife, mortar, pan and stove along with other friends around were looking at Nellie's efforts from the beginning. All the kitchen friends felt very sorry for Nellie. They came forward to help little Nellie to prepare the soup for her grandma as she wished. The knife quickly started cutting beans, carrots, potatoes and garlic. Takas takas, takas takas. Ginger, pepper, garlic and curry leaves rushed into the mortar for their turn. The mortar started pounding. Chok chok, chok chok. The pot was waiting with the vegetables inside while Nellie was washing the soaked lentils. After adding the lentils into the pot, salt bottle added some salt to taste. Nellie looked surprised and realized that this was exactly how her grandma made soup. The stove helped to boil the soup and the good smell of the soup went all over the house. Kitchen friends, thank you so much for helping me to make this delicious soup for my loving grandma. Nellie thanked the kitchen friends. We helped you because you are a brave child who is not afraid to take on challenges, said the kitchen friends. Nellie proudly offered the bowl of soup to grandma. Grandma emptied the bowl of soup in a few minutes. She felt so good after having the soup. Grandma, with tear-filled eyes, appreciated the thoughtful efforts of Nellie and said the soup was super delicious. Maybe because Nellie's love and affection were well mixed in it. Grandma 
felt so happy and proud about little Nelly. Remember, my dear children, be kind to everyone. I hope you enjoyed the story of Grandma is Sick. I will meet you soon with another little story. Bye!